sand down. Oh yeah, this is a really nice one. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a fat fish. Yeah, so we're out here doing a little downrig in a day on Cola Lake. The wind picked up a little bit, which is always good for the bite. We're sticking in fairly shallow. Water temperatures are still fairly warm, 54 Fahrenheit. So we're just gonna stick in shallow that 60 up to 40 feet. Hopefully find a few active fish up in those depths. So stay tuned, hopefully get hooked up here soon. Hooked up here. Literally just started down rigging. Been about five minutes and fair enough. Hooked up. Beautiful lake trout. One of my favorite colors here, mixed veggies. And get this fish unhooked and get them back in the water. Another quick look at that fish. We'll get him back in the water here. Fish. There you go. Time we're out in about 60 feet of water. 37 feet down. Another beauty. God, beautiful fish. Nice and long, skinny, put up a heck of a fight. Get this fish back in the water. Another fish, super aggressive hit there. That one came 48 feet of water, 37 feet down again. Stand down. About 24 feet left on the line counter. Oh yeah, this is a really nice one. Another beauty. You know what, we're gonna net this guy, he's a nice fish. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a fat fish. Oh yeah, that is a fat lake trout. We'll uh, grab a quick measurement on this one. I'll get it right back in the water. 32 and a half inches and absolute beauty. Let's fish back in the water here. Wow, we're three fish in. 32 and a half inch, you can't really complain about that. That's a heck of a fish on Cool Lake. Caught her on the mixed veggies, Northern King Meg. But yeah, let's get back down there and see if we can get a few more here. The wind's just picking up, so that should help the bite a little bit here. A 
fish are on. Feels a lot smaller this one, but it's been about 15 to 20 minutes since we caught a fish, so this is nice. Just a little one here hooked on mixed veggies. Let's get this guy back in the water. So a little bit of what we're doing today. We're using Northern King Mag mixed veggies. It's kind of got that orange head on it and a chartreuse green and yellow body with the silver dimple back on it. That's kind of a, gives a nice flash down there. We're using a Deathmaster Cabela's trolling rod paired with a Shimano Dakota reel with a line counter. That's uh, kind of what we've been going with today. So we'll get back down there and hopefully we can get another one. Fish. Another nice healthy laker. Switched it up that time to Dr. Death for this pass and sure enough, hooked up with another cool Lake Beauty. Get the hooks on and going back down in the water here. Hey guys, one more quick look here. What a beautiful fish. There we go, fish. There we go, hooked up again. Again on Dr. Death. Smaller one here. this fish back down on the water. So generally speaking, when I'm down rigging, I like to keep my ball around 10 feet off the bottom. So if I'm fishing 65 feet of water, I usually keep my ball on 55. If I'm in 55 feet of water, I keep it in 45 or so on. Just gives you a little wiggle room when you're going up and down those shelves. And yeah, keeping your hook that 10 feet off the bottom just kind of keeps it in that strike zone. Same as when you're jigging. This fish will look up to see it and they'll come flying up off the bottom and hit it. So it's always important to keep keep that hook as close as you can to that strike zone. Now we got a fish on. I was just talking about how important it was to keep your hook in the strike zone and sure enough, hooked up with another lake trout here. A beautiful golden colored fish again. Get this fish back in the water and hopefully we can get a couple more before the day wraps up. A couple little tips here when you're running your downriggers. Today I'm running about a five foot lead between my spoon and my clip. And yeah, when I clip her on here, I'm usually only about halfway down the clip. It's kind of where I like to go. So when I set it, the line can snap out nice and easy. Some days I experiment a little bit more, but I can go up about 30 foot lead. Most of the time though, I'm within that five to 20 foot range. 
but you can change it up based on the day, how, kind of see how the bite's going, and sometimes those little changes make all the difference. It's fish on here. There we go. Hooked up. Just a little one. A little one on the Dr. Death, but we'll get this guy back down in the water. Fish. Another small one. Again on Dr. Death, and we'll, just a smaller one. But we'll get this fish back in the water. Fish. Another cool leopardy looking fish. We'll get this one back in the water here. Well, I think got that last fish that we're gonna call it a wrap. It's a fun afternoon trolling with the downriggers. Great way to auto charge some new areas and cover lots of ground. So yeah, don't be afraid to move around, change your depths. And if you like this content, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and we'll catch you on the water next time.